If you actually understand algebra, you should be able to evaluate this function pretty easily for the value of two. So here we have the function f of x is equal to x cubed minus two x squared plus four x minus eight. So what is f of two? In other words, we want to evaluate this function for two. Now, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section and feel free to use a calculator, but uh, I'm gonna suggest try not to use a calculator. But if you think you need one, go ahead and use one. But uh, the whole point of this video is we're gonna talk about two ways you can evaluate this function. So again, we wanna find the value of this function for two. So I'm gonna show you two techniques that you need to know in algebra in order to solve this problem. Okay, now before we get started, let me tell you who I am. My name is John and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so one more time, we're trying to evaluate this function for two. And there are two different ways you can do it. So let's go ahead and get into this right now. Okay, so the first way that we can evaluate this function is probably the number one way that most people know. So what it means to evaluate a function for a particular value, it means to plug that value into the function and then simplify the remaining numeric expression. So it's just kind of easier for me to show you this. So here is our function, f of x is equal to x cubed minus two x squared plus four x minus eight. So we wanna find the value of two or f of two or evaluate this function for two. So we're gonna write it this way, f of two is equal to what? Well, we're going to replace all these x's here with two. So that means we're going to have two cubed minus two times two squared plus four times two minus eight. Now notice when I'm evaluating this function, I have parentheses, right? So when you uh, evaluate functions, make sure to always use parentheses when you are plugging in a numeric value. Okay, so now we just need to follow the order of operations and simplify what's going on here to get our answer. So two cubed is what? Well, that's two times two times two, which is eight. So that's gonna be eight minus what? Well, two times two. Well, we don't do multiplication first here. Remember, we're following the order of operations. We have to do powers first. So two squared is four, and then four times two will be eight, but uh, we'll just take this one step at a time plus four times two is eight right here. Okay, so here we have eight minus two times four is eight, plus eight minus eight. Okay, so eight minus eight is zero, and then we're gonna add that to eight minus eight, which of course is zero. So our final answer here is zero. Okay, so f of two for this particular function is zero. All right, now if you got this right, that is fantastic. I have to give you a nice little happy face and an A plus. Now, what I'm showing you here is like pre-algebra or algebra level, uh, algebra one level mathematics, okay? So this is stuff that you should be able to understand at uh, this level. So what I'm gonna show you next is a, another way that we can evaluate this function, but you, uh, you learn this technique in courses like algebra two, college algebra, and pre-calculus. So it's possible that you have not yet studied these uh, courses or this level of mathematics, but uh, don't run away because this technique is super awesome and super easy. So let's go ahead and get into this right now. Okay, so this next technique that we can use to evaluate this function for two is called synthetic division. And this is a part of a bigger topic that you learn in these more advanced courses like Algebra II, College Algebra, Pre-Calculus, and that is polynomial division. So we study a lot about polynomials in these courses and how to solve kind of um, higher level, higher order polynomial equations, and that involves polynomial divisions, or division, excuse me, which involves something called synthetic division. So 
in order for me to fully explain uh, the concepts behind synthetic division, this would cover a lot of mathematics. But uh, if you need help with this stuff, this level of mathematics, I have all these courses. You can find links to them in the description of this video. Okay, so what is synthetic division? Well, synthetic division is a fantastic little shortcut. And primarily, we use synthetic division to uh, evaluate functions. It's like a shortcut to evaluate functions. Now, you saw that I could, evaluate, I could evaluate this function for 2 by simply plugging in a 2 where I see an x and then doing the respective mathematics. Now, I can use this technique here, synthetic division, to get the answer as well. And the way this works is the following. Okay, so you can see here, I have this like little L thing, and then I have some numbers. Now these numbers, one, negative two, four, and negative eight, come from the function itself. And we're focused in on the coefficients here. Now the first thing that we want to kind of really understand is that we have to, we have, to have our function written in standard form. That is highest to lowest power. So here we have x cubed, x squared, x, and then our number. So that is the first thing. Now, if we happen to have a power missing, we would just plug in a 0. So in other words, if we had x cubed plus 4x minus 8, we have to have a 0 here as the uh, placeholder for x squared. Okay, now I'm just kind of showing you a real simple example. You don't have to understand everything perfectly, but I do want to uh, show you how easy it is to use this synthetic division to evaluate a function. Okay, so again, we're going to look at the coefficients here. So we have 1x cubed. So this one is going to go right there. Now we have negative 2x squared, so we're going to put our negative 2 right here. And then we have 4x, so we'll put our 4 right there. And then we have a negative 8. We'll put our negative 8 right there. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is write our coefficients here. 1, negative 2, 4, and negative 8. And then we're going to put like a little L thing right here. And we're going to do this in such a way where we have enough room uh, to write some numbers down here. So now that we have this set up, let me go ahead and show you how cool it is to use synthetic division to evaluate a function. Okay, so here again is our setup. We have 1, negative 2, 4, negative 8, and then of course we have our little kind of L here. Now what we want to do is evaluate this function for 2. So instead of plugging in this 2 into the function, what we're going to do is take this number that we're trying to evaluate this function for, and we're going to put it right here, okay, right outside this little L thing. So here we have 2, and then we have this little L bracket, then 1, negative 2, 4, negative 8. All right, so this is the setup, and now we're going to do uh, kind of some calculations here in order to find the answer, but this is really easy. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you this in action. So here is the setup. Again, we're trying to evaluate this function for 2, and we know the answer is 0. So the way this works is the following. You're going to take the first number, that is 1, and you're going to drop it down right here underneath this L. So you're just going to follow this simple pattern. So again, we're going to take this first number. This is 1. We're going to put it right down here. So now we're going to take the number 2 and multiply by 1. So 2 times 1 is what? Well, that is 2. And we're going to put the answer right here in the next column underneath this uh, number right here. Okay, so again, we're going to take this one, drop it down. 2 times 1 is what? It's 2. We put our answer right here. Okay, now the next step is we're going to add down. So negative 2 plus 2 is what? Well, that is 0. All right, now we're going to repeat the process. All right, so 2 times 0 is what? That's 0, and we're going to put our answer right here. So again, we're going to add down negative 2 plus 2 is 0, and then we're going to uh, take this 0 and multiply it by 2. So 2 times 0 is 0. We put our answer right here. Okay, so now we're going to add down again. So 4 plus 0 is what? That is 4. So just following the same pattern. So 4 times 2 is what? That is 8. So we're going to put our answer right here. So there is 8. 
So now we're going to add down for the last time. So we have negative 8 plus 8. That is 0. Okay, so we're out of numbers here. So this answer right here, our last answer, this last number right here is the answer. Okay, so when we are evaluating a function using synthetic division, whatever this last number here is the answer. So recall f of 2 is equal to 0 when we plug this 2 into the function. So this might be a little bit confusing because I kind of uh, showed you it for the first time, but I can tell you right now, this is often a much faster, cleaner way to evaluate functions, and you definitely need to understand synthetic division. All right, so now you have two ways to evaluate functions. And again, if you're interested in uh, synthetic division or polynomial division, you need to check out my um, Algebra 2 and or pre-calculus courses or my College Algebra course as well. Again, you can find links to all of this in the description of this video. So with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.